in my opinion, uh, there are many challenges, but uh, if we would like to emphasize the main threes, uh, they are all connected uh, to uh, the tools we would uh, provide to the companies to support their transformation uh, towards a PSS offering. First of all, I think it's quite relevant to provide companies uh, a way on how to prototype services, not just product. But uh, these tools must be easy to use and not uh, um, costly as they are today. The second uh, main challenge is to provide uh, companies tools that support um, better their decisions, so to move the research uh, from a, a pure qualitative research as it has been done till now uh, in a, a more quantitative research where uh, we can uh, develop some nice and effective approach enabling companies uh, in have numbers supporting their decision making process. This is quite relevant because uh, these kind of tools can be used uh, all in the development phase but also along all the life cycle to take decisions that can support also a better sales um, of services. Last but not least is the involvement of the customer. I think right now uh, the involvement of the customer is still low so even if uh, there are a lot of approach uh, announcing that uh, we need to co-create, co-develop uh, product service system with the customer, uh, in a practical sense uh, this is not really done. So we need also to better structure approach that uh, uh, allow companies in collecting data from the field, from the customer, use this data to uh, create a new service idea, new product service and to optimize uh, the ones already available with a strong involvement of uh, the intangible elements uh, that the customer also is uh, uh, looking for. So to better include the uh, customer uh, feedback in uh, tangible and the intangible element development. Uh, I understand this question is um, challenges for improving development of PSS, not just developing PSS, because just developing PSS is possible and uh, feasible to do uh, by basically any company. Um, so uh, if you want to improve the, the process of developing PSS, I think there are different challenges. There are, I think, differences between uh, SMEs, small and medium sized companies, versus large companies. And uh, in the case of SMEs, I think the, one of the largest challenges is uh, their like, knowledge and information about what processes they can take and what processes they should take, etc., etc. Uh, but in the case of SMEs, once they know it, I think it's fairly easy or at least easier for a company to design and deliver PSS uh, as compared to large companies. And uh, when it comes to uh, large companies, uh, the, the challenges, main challenges exist in, I would say, how to implement that engineering process, I mean, including design and uh, developing, producing and delivering. Uh, because typically, um, large companies, especially originating, uh, I mean, technology, uh, within the company, there is a large division uh, working on physical products, technologies, R&D. And they, as compared to this, uh, it's much smaller, uh, let's say, number of people uh, working on services, and as a result, uh, there is of course the difference in budget as well and therefore there is a big unbalance of the power uh, between product versus service. And as you know, product service system is an integrated offering of product and service and this unbalance uh, becomes a big challenge uh, to, to implement PSS uh, in a big company like this. One more uh, challenge for this type of large uh, companies uh, providing PSS is, uh, I would say, insufficient uh, motivation. Uh, by motivation, I mean uh, like external pressure, for example, pressure from a customer. Uh, 
And if a customer doesn't require a company to, let's say, cut down their price, etc., etc., then the provider is not motivated to uh, improve their uh, development process of PSS. And they can somehow develop products, develop service, and combine them and provide PSS. But if you really uh, make use of the knowledge developed in the academia of PSS, then they could be even better. I mean, in performing in terms of, let's say, the efficiency, lead time, the budget. So that's, uh, those two are the, I, I would say, large uh, challenges for large companies providing PSS. I think if you look at the future, I think uh, uh, having said that, I think building PSS as research field has been good. Then I think it's uh, also about uh, kind of stepping away from the case studies, uh, which has been about telling what PSS is and looking further into uh, probably design methodologies, how you can have an intent to actually design product service systems. I think there's a, a huge field out there and it has to be more consistent, so to say. So I think that's one big challenge. And uh, when you're doing that, I think it's also important then, of course, to see how that will fall out to so see that we could have both the intentional PSS design and also ability to follow up and see whether those solutions actually came out being good or not so good. And here I think it's coming down to evaluating things from a life cycle perspective and sustainability. And then of course uh, keeping value uh, in focus. When you create a solution it has to create value for either looking at the uh, and consumer or a business to business partner relationship. So value is also very important. I think that today with quite a high level of scientific maturity, we should go towards a higher uh, application, higher implementation of uh, all these uh, theoretical and knowledge. Uh, for instance, uh, design methods are quite mature from a scientific point of view, but uh, they still lack quite a lot of uh, implementation. So we should work on applicability and transfer of these methods at a large scale for the industry. Then, uh, today we have quite a lot of uh, use cases in the industry. So I think that we could or should pay much more attention of uh, to PSS in use and how we can improve uh, the management of the use phase uh, of uh, product service systems. Typically with uh, the advances on uh, data mining, uh, digitalization, product lifecycle management, so operational solution uh, to manage uh, PSS already in use on the, on the market. A third point search is to integrate PSS business models in other uh, new research topics for the industry. Uh, so to uh, take in consideration new research trends uh, for the industry, for example, digitalization, factory of the future, of course, and to make the links between PSS and these different uh, trends to, to go further in the, the operationalization of the, of the concept of uh, that notion. Mm -hmm.